Hello, in this session I will talk about inner joints of three tables. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In the previous sessions we have talked about different types of joints, cross joints, inner joints and outer joints and also we have looked into different types of outer joints, left outer joint, right outer joint and full outer joint. Now it's time to take a look at how you will apply the join rule to more than two tables if need be for example how you would extract data from three tables. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio. Let's take a look at the data in the three tables that we will be joining together. So first we have a course table. Right click on that and choose open content. So this table contains data about the courses. So we have four courses. IDs going from one to four and then if I go into a student table, right click on it and open content. This will give me all the students I have. So I have five students. ID is going from one to five. A student table contains data about the students and the course table contains data about the courses. So where is the data about the relationship? Which student is taking which course? If you take a look at the student table, we have a team ID column here, which is indicating to which team the student belongs. Why can't we do that for the course? Why can't we create a course ID column here and just put the ID of the course that a student is taking? This is the difference between the implementation of one-to-many relationship and many-to-many -many relationship. Relationship between a student and team is one-to-many one student can only belong to one team so you can add a team ID column here and just put the ID of the team but one student may be taking more than one course and one course could be taken by more than one student so you can't add a course ID here and in the course table you can't just add a student ID here okay for many to many relationship you have to create a separate table and that is why we created a student underscore course table if we right click on it and choose open content. This is the table holding the relationships between a student and course which a student is taking which course is represented in this table. Now note that we are only putting IDs here ID of the student and ID of the course we don't have to put all the details of the students because they are there in the student table. Similarly we don't have to put all the details of the course here because the details are there in the course table. Now if I ask you to give me the list of students and the list of courses they are taking, you can't just give me the output of a student underscore course table because these IDs are meaningless for me. Okay, so I need to see more than the IDs. I need to see the details. So if I right click on tables and open a new SQL editor, so if you give me this, select star, meaning all columns, from student underscore course, and you run this. So technically, the output here is telling me which student is taking which course, but IDs is not something I'm interested in. I'm interested in is the student names and course names. IDs are usually for internal processing, for linking records in one table with the other and that is exactly what we are going to do. So IDs are something that are internally generated even when somebody is doing a data entry from the front end. Let's say if you're entering a student's data from a front end screen you will be asked to input first name, last name, date joint and even the team name but not the IDs. IDs will be internally generated and automatically assigned to the new row. This is how you have to program your application. So IDs are for internal use. Okay, coming back to the topic, let's go back to our SQL editor. We have a couple of SQL editors opened. Okay, so this result is not acceptable to me, so what else can you do? So if I go back to my SQL tab, let's give an alias to this table. Let's call it A. This is a table A. Or you don't have to go A, B, C. You can give some meaningful aliases like SC, student course. And for a student table, you can call it S. And course table, you can call C, okay? For now, we are going to join it with one table only. And that would be a student table. 
So I can use any method implicit or explicit. I have covered those in my another video. So let's go with the more standard method. So let's do the explicit join. So other table that I want to bring into the picture is a student table. And let's give it alias S. Okay. And let's do the inner join. So select for now all the columns from a student table inner join with a student underscore course table and using the on clause you have to specify the joining columns and I want to use the student ID the ID column in the student table as the joining column so in the student table this column is called ID but in a student course table this column is called a student underscore ID I have to put an equal to sign here now the statement is technically complete but obviously it's not serving the purpose if I run it now you will see all the records in a student tables joined with a student underscore course table since this is an inner join you will not see those students who are not taking any course so this table is giving you all the information on students as well as a course ID of the course that they are taking and you will see more than one row if a student is taking more than one course and that is Hassan Hassan is taking more than one course and you will not see the student who is not taking any course so you you see all the attributes of the students plus this additional information the course underscore ID so I wanted to find out the list of students along with the list of courses they are taking okay so I'm not interested in all the attributes so first name let's say for now I'm only interested in the first names and the names of the courses I don't have the name of the courses but I do have the course IDs at this point so let's put course ID here and if I run it I see the list of students and the list of course IDs that they are taking so all I need to do now is somehow convert this course IDs into the course names and how can I do that let's go back to the SQL tab for that I need to add another table in this join so this is one join if I bring the on statement in in the first line so that it's visually easy to see so this is one join and I can add another join so what I'm telling the system first join these two tables and whatever you get join that result with this third table and I'm using inner join again and the name of the table is course let's give an alias to this table we call it C and now we have to specify the join condition using the on keyword so we can say that the ID column of the course table is equal to the course ID column of student course table column names do not have to be the same that's why you specify the join condition to tell the system which two columns are the linkage now we can change course underscore ID to the course name and that is called name and if you want to be precise you can say C dot name and S dot F name meaning grab the column name from table C which is the course table and grab the column F name from table S which is the students table it's a good practice to specify which table you're getting the column from but it's not required unless there's a conflict of columns if one column exists in more than one tables in your SQL then system will complain and it will tell you please specify from which table you're talking about to grab this column okay so now we are ready to run this SQL so click on this green button so this is what we wanted the list of students as well as the list of courses that they're taking now let's say my requirement changes now I want to see the list of students as well as the courses they're taking but I also want to see those students who are not taking any course in the list 